This will give you a good open view of the, of the uh, well, when you stand behind it, the right side of the machine. Yeah. But you, this is your rack. Okay. Well, I, I'll show you. Here's this rack here. And when it when this piece comes out, this whole table, yeah. that stub that sticks up right there is what this comes up is uh, is tripped by. Okay. This comes down against it, and that's what clues it to pick it up. Oh, wow. And when it gets to the bottom, you've got this little finger that points over here. Yeah. It'll actually get this piece over there and release it. So it rolls back up. Yeah, it's a spring-loaded shaft. It's almost and like it a printing press up. or something. Similar to it. Wow. That's a yellow universal joint there, huh? Yeah, that's uh, that's actually an electric clutch. Okay. When it energizes, just like an electromagnet, yeah. it grabs that steel piece and starts the whole and starts the whole thing. Huh. And start that starts to sweep it. This one operates operates the table. It brings it up and down. Okay. And then you got a smaller one back here that brings the table out. Yeah. And then it turns on again to return it. Okay. Let me get back here and reset. <laughs> I'm gonna reset this. Okay. Okay. So there's belts. This is this belt is constantly going. Yeah. Yeah, you can see more back. The uh, the pins enter through the through there. There's a little gate. Okay. And what usually happens is when the cups come through, it spreads these open for these rollers. Okay. Well, the back one's the one that lets the pin come through, okay. set up in the nest, and it okay. fills up by this clutch right here that turns on, turns it around, and then you've got two switches. One switch turns that off when it's full, okay. and the other switch at the bottom tells the machine, tells the, makes the circuit so when you hit the button, that yeah. clutch will activate up at the top and small one, no. so it can send it out. And that's what the double pointed cam is for, because okay. it turns it turns that clutch off until it comes back up, and it, the switch in the front is then activated to start it again long enough to get the uh, cam off of the switch yeah. to complete the circuit and keep it running until it comes back here. Huh. And then when it does, the point switches it back down again. Okay. Now how does it always make sure the pins are lined up the right way? Like when they hit this, how do they know the... Well, the head of the pin is the head as well because it's actually being held right here. Oh, okay. So the head of the pin will always go down to the bottom. Yeah. So if it comes to the front, it gets picked up and lays. If it comes to the, it comes in bottom first, when it's picked up, the head of the pin is basically level. Okay. It's just gravity that works. Yeah. And that's what keeps it in place. Wow. It's always, so it's always loaded the correct place. Yeah. And then it's just, just one motor. Running this whole thing? Yeah. One motor turns, you've got a large wheel, and you've got a small set of gears, and you've got small gear on the back to a bigger wheel, and then you've got a small gear here to a bigger gear. Wow. Basically gear reduction. Yeah. So a third horsepower motor is what it takes to... And that takes care of all the belts and everything. Yeah, the chain comes set. This is all attached to a chain. Okay. There's a chain drive at the very bottom. And that's for the back drive, belt. It right? drives the drive shaft. Yeah. That goes to the front. There's a small square gearbox, uh -huh. straight cut gears, and as this is turning in one direction, it's turning the turning another one in the opposite direction, which turns your big wide belt down there in the bottom right, right. that drives it. This shaft continues on to a front gearbox that turns in one direction. It turns the shaft, comes across through the gutter belt here. Turns a pulley in the opposite direction, which drives the wide six-inch belt. Okay. Which helps to, well, then, which helps to turn the pin. Oh, okay. And then the through shaft that's in the box comes over here, and it turns helps with the three-inch belt in the box. Okay. As well as turning the gutter belt in this box, because the three-inch belt is driven not only by the front gearbox but also a rear gearbox which is this one right here. Right. And that's a drive. 
this is the drive, this is the gearbox here, there's a drive roller and the front side at the other end is a drive roller. Wow. Let's make sure that that belt, you can leave the belt a little loose. Yeah. So if you happen to reach in there, if you put your hand over the stop. Okay. But you've got two of them driving to make sure that it turns when there's pins and balls on Yeah. That's pretty awesome. And if it jams up, there's a mechanism up there that if it jams, yeah. it sits there and spins. It's got a, a spring-loaded plunger that sits in a sits in a, a, a recess. Yeah. And it keeps it going. And if it gets jammed up, Now, all this, this was put into, this was designed back in 1954, 55. Okay. So, you got it. It's really difficult. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. What you've got here, you've got your main shaft that comes across. Turn the belt, which then turns the, the clutch over there. You put the table? Yeah. And then it comes across, and there's a gearbox in here. And here that allows us to turn the gear over there for the uh, for the clutch plate. Wow. So when they energize, they lock in. Yeah. And it sends it Man. Yeah, not to mention the sweeper and everything. Yeah. Just start the sweeper. That's, that's it. And this, this kick the chain. It's just regular 10 speed bicycle chain. Really? That's all it is. They call it 543, but it's 10 speed bicycle chain. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. He's giving me the tour. It's pretty fascinating. Yeah.